In this video, we're going to go over the process of setting up the Tasty Trade platform, also known as the Tasty Works platform, the Dorian Trader way. We're going to walk you through how we set up the demonstration accounts that we trade live on every single trading day so that it, you can learn through the process by mirroring the Tasty Trade platform that we demonstrate on. But before we do that, we want to thank you for joining the Dorian Trader. We are super happy that you are a part of the Dorian Trader team now and community. And we hope that you decide to be a part of the community into perpetuity. And we're going to do all we can to provide you value day after day after day. So that can be the case. With that said, I want to point out that we are marrying two different videos. One, you're going to hear us say Tasty Trade. And then in parts of the video, you're going to hear us say Tasty Works. We, this is an updated how to set up Tasty Trade kind of platform video, but we're using some of the old video to be able to complete the setup video. So don't be confused. Tasty Trade is Tasty Works and Dorian Way is Dorian Trader. We changed our name from Dorian Way to Dorian Trader, but we are also obviously known as the Dorian Way. All right, so let's jump right into the video and let's start off with going over the part that says accounts here. As you can see here, this says accounts and what you're going to do is set up this part, right? So right now, we it's the beginning of the year. We don't have anything in this demonstration account at this point, but we're wanting to set up this top area here. So what you have to do is go into settings, and then you're going to go into accounts, and then you're going to click on the header detail here. And this header detail is what we want you to have in this order here. So you can toggle back and forth from back like this to be able to update it. And so this is what we want you to have. At least you might want to put something else and that's okay. But we encourage members to follow exactly what we have, at least initially until you get comfortable with what you like to see. Once you set this part up by adding these, then you're going to click OK down here. And then the next part you're going to set up is this middle area here. This is where your positions are at. You can see here that it's all lined up here. You're going to set this up. And the way you're going to do that is once again, you're going to go into the settings wheel here. Once you are inside the settings wheel, you're going to look under accounts again and then click for positions. And then you're going to set up the position area exactly the way you see it on the screen. You're going to do delta per quantity, net theta, net liquidity, PL day, PL open, PL open change, cost, days expiration, and days since open. You're going to put it exactly the way you see it on the screen here and you can toggle back and forth it's kind of sensitive so you have to be careful on how you set this up once you're done you're just going to click ok and then you want to go back into the settings area and then you want to click on accounts and you want to click on accounts here and then you want to set up the beta weighted symbol so if you're new to this, your beta weighted symbol might say the SPY because this is what they have the def it to default it to. But in the Dorian way, we use the SPX. So what you want to do is type in the SPX there and then hit OK. You also want to go into accounts and make sure that you have show futures delta using the equivalent ETF. You want to make sure that's unchecked so that you're going to be able to see your deltas from the position area. Just for now, it might sound confusing, but just for now, make sure that this is unchecked. You can also decide if you want to be in privacy mode or if you want to show account total rows. I normally just have this stuff unchecked and use and just looking at one account in these demonstration accounts. You can toggle back and forth on what type of accounts you want to look at here. But at least for the very least, make sure that show futures delta using equivalent ETF is unchecked. It's not populated. Then you can click OK. All right. So once you have done that, then you want to go over to your watch list and your watch list is going to be in this area here right? in this area. We sent you a attachment in the welcome email. And that attachment was the watch list. So you want to set up your watch list according to that attachment. And the way you would do it is you would go back to the settings wheel here. Once again, click on the settings wheel, and then you're going to see that it's already on watch list. And then you're going to go to list. And then in here, you're going to add a new list. You're going to click on add a new list that's right here. And then when you click on add a new list, you're going to put in the name of the list that you want. And you're just going to call this the Dorian way. 
okay? Call it the Dorian Way. And then I already have something in here that's called the Dorian Way, I believe. So we're going to call this the Dorian 12 here. And then you're gonna hit add. And then it's gonna say successfully added. And then you can add some symbols to that. So let's just say I wanted to add the ES to it. And you hit add, and that's that's uh, already in the list. So we're gonna click on in queue and you hit add. And then there you go, so that was successfully added. So if, then if you want to delete it, if you want to delete that, uh, well, before you delete it, you can click OK. But if you had to go back in here and you want to delete that, you can just go in here and hit delete. And it says, you want to delete this watch list? You say yes, and then that watch list will be deleted. All right, so then you can check and see what type of watch list you have. You can see I have this one named the Dor Dorian Way here, and then you can have your different watch list there. All right, so on this list, you want to make sure that you have the settings set up in this area here to make sure that it is saying last x change and change percentage okay that's what you want here you can also have high and low and you can just toggle back i like to see that you can see the last price something traded at the change how many points it was up or down and the percentage I like to see that right away and then sometime i'll toggle back and look at the high and the low so to be able to set that up you have to go into settings and you go to watch list and then you go to your right sidebar and then you're going to make sure that it's set up like this you're going to make sure it's in this order and then you're going to and if you, once again you can toggle back and forth like that and then you're going to click ok down there and then you're going to make sure that you're using most of your space so you can kind of just hover your mouse over here so you can see this line that you can see here then you can move it back and forth like this so now i can see the the high and the low but it's requiring just a little of too much it's using too much of the space so in this case i bring it all the way back over and i keep going until i can just show the last x change and change percentage and that will set up your your watch list at that point over to the left bar if you wanted to add a symbol and do it really quickly you can add a symbol in this area down here to the watch list that you're on. So you can go like this, type in what you want to type in, and just type in that, and then you can click it, and then you can hit add. Okay, we're not going to do that now, but that's how you would add it. And if you wanted to move a, a symbol around, you can move it by dragging it like that. Okay, so we're not going to do that. And now we're going to move over to the trade tab. I'm going to set up the trade tab. So in this area is the, the, the date that is to the next expiration or the expiration that you can choose and these are the days to expiration here so we're just going to choose this 83 for right now and what we're going to set up is the delta the open interest and the delta and the open interest and the way you do that is you click on the settings wheel that is to the left of those options we just mentioned so then you can choose what you want in this case we're choosing delta and then if we do it here we're choosing open interest right and that's going to be on both sides if you do that as you can see, it's going to be on both sides if you do that. We want to quickly point out that on the Tasty Trade platform, they have this arrow here that you want to make sure it's always pointing up. If it's not pointing up, it will show the option chain in a reverse type of order. So, and the next thing we're going to do is make sure the strikes that you can see is 450. So you, you're going to have to type that in because it's not going to have that option. So you're going to have to type in 450 there. All right. So the next thing that I want you to look at is your positions. So I'm going to hit this settings wheel here, and then we're going to go into this display area for trade. And you're going to make sure that this is set up like this, and then you're going to go into your orders, and you're going to make sure this orders are all set up like this, and then you're going to go to your stocks, and you're going to make sure the quantity of your trades are set up like this on your stocks, and then on your options, you're going to make sure that they're set up like this on your options, and then you're going to and then lastly, you're going to do it for your futures. You're going to make sure everything is set up like this for your futures. And then you're going to hit OK, like you've done in the past. And then we're going to go over to charts. And in the chart area, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the indicators. And then in this area, you can type in what type of indicator that you want. And these are the indicators that you want. You want this SMMA. That's the simple moving average. You want two of those. And then you want the relative strength index. And you're going to add it just like this in this order. Once you have them, you're going to make sure that the first one has this under this area. And then under style, you're going to make sure it's like this in this color. 
And then on the next simple moving average, you're going to do the same thing. Make sure this area is correct. You're going to hit the style, and you're going to make sure that you have this color in there and that this line is solid and marker is no. Um, and then you're going to click on the relative strength index, and you're going to make sure all of this is correct. And then you're going to click on the style, and then you're going to make sure this area is the same setup. And then once that is all set up, you're going to hit close, but you're going to use this area right here to add the selected areas. And then you can just delete the areas by clicking on right here. Um, or you can clear all if you wanted to. All right, so the next thing you want to do is make sure that this is set for day. And you can see that it gives you a lot of different options. You're going to set that from day. And then you're going to set this area right here to one year. And then you're going to make sure that this is a candle stick bar chart. And you can check that here. All right. And then your account should be set up accordingly at that point once you click on the settings wheel and make sure everything is set up according to this area and you can check the chart you can check the colors and check all this all these different layout options once you complete the setup of the charts and then you will be all set with the setup of the tasty trade platform the dorian trader way then you can jump into course one and start learning the process. We encourage you to go over each lesson, write down your questions, and then email it to support, and we will respond via text and or video. And if you still need questions, please feel free to join one of the live programming calls that we have and unmute your mic. That is one of the great advantages of the Dorian Trader is that every member gets access to their mic so they can interrupt their instructor and we encourage the members to do that so they can accelerate the learning process. So we look forward to helping you through your options learning journey. Please feel free to always present questions to us.